Hi friends. It has been a while. It has been, well, since December since I've last vlogged. I have a red bit. I must have scratched myself. Anyways, um, I thought I'd come on and just let you know where I've been and what's been happening and uh, what the future holds here for me. I've been thinking about this um, now for quite some time. It is the first day of spring and it is raining in Chicago. It is quintessential spring. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, it's 40 degrees, which for us is a heat wave. And I'm over the winter, you guys. Uh, we had quite a winter. Negative 58 in January for like three days straight. Negative 58. It was colder here than it was in Siberia. I looked it up. Uh, not we had snow like normal amounts of snow for us but we had more than normal amounts of ice and it was it was ridiculous this year i had more work from home days than i have ever had in the 20 years that i've been here <laughs> um yeah so <clears throat> there is a light at the end of the tunnel with winter ending finally <laughs> and um really excited about that so I have been really hitting my goals. It was maybe around November of last year that uh, I really started implementing the Planner Perfect method for me. And before you start thinking this is another planner video, it really isn't. Um, I'm just telling you like what it's doing for me. And if there is interest, I can show you how I do it. Um, I can even do like a plan with me and see how that goes. But the Planner Perfect Method is about scripting your life. So instead of having a bunch of to-do lists, you dream about what you want your day to look like and miraculously, this stuff just manifests itself. It's unbelievable because I have to tell you, I have not had to wake up with an alarm since December. I just tell myself the night before, I write it down what time I want to wake up, and I'm usually up 10 to 15 minutes before I my time that I had wanted to, which has given me time to meditate in the morning, which was something that was one of my goals for this year, was to include some kind of meditation. And I use a guided meditation, it's an app that I got for free um, for my iPhone. I downloaded it that's what I've been using every morning um, it's really made a difference in my general mood throughout the day <sighs> in my demeanor um, I'm actually looking forward to waking up which was not something that I ever thought I would say but it is true um, the other thing is it's more goal-oriented so you at the beginning of you know like towards the end of the month before so like right now um it is march 20th this weekend next week i'll start dreaming about what i want april to look like what i want to get done in april what um easter is in april so how do i want easter day to look like um and you plan everything out in detail so that's what I've been doing and I don't know if it's the law of attraction you know like if you dream about it and you think about it um, and you look at this stuff every day it automatically happens because it's been happening you guys it has been happening now she recommends carrying everything in a traveler's notebook this is a traveler's notebook that I did get from her Marissa bought it for me for my birthday it's absolutely beautiful and in here I have four books. One book is the whole year, um, every, all 12 months of the year with pages in between so that you can forward dream. So like if you have an idea of what you wanna do for Christmas or for Thanksgiving, you write it in there and you dream about it and you think about it. And then when that month comes, if that's still something you want to do, you elaborate on it a little bit more in your monthly book. 
my next book is my March book. And one of these books is one month, okay? So I only keep two months at a time, the month I'm on and the month I'm going into. And it's two pages per day. And you write out everything from morning, from when you wanna wake up to when you wanna to go to bed, what you want your day to look like. And yeah, I have to-do lists, I'm not gonna lie. I have to-do lists in here. Um, let me see if there's one page I can show you. So while I'm trying to find a page, cause I also journal in here. So I'm trying to find a page where I don't care if you see it or not. Um, so you know what, you you dream about what you want your day to look like, you talk about it, anything you wanna remember, anything you wanna make a note of. I use this as my food journal, my water tracker, my step tracker, my sleep tracker. Um, I journal about my day. At the end of the day, I uh, put my to-do lists, my, and I pull from my goals every day. So in the beginning, I have uh, like the weeks broken out, I have a habit tracker, and then I have what's going into the goals, right? So like here was St. Patrick's Day, what I wanted that to look like, okay? So what we were going to eat, um, a recipe for gluten-free Irish soda bread that I wanted to try, which came out fabulous by the way. Uh, things to eat during the week, like Reuben sandwiches, bangers and mash, um, things that you would normally eat around St. Patrick's Day, the corned beef and cabbage dinner, like I mapped it out. I mapped out who I was going to invite and what time. Everything was in detail. So then I went on to like my, my goals, okay? And I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight goals for March. And look, I mean, they're right there, okay? They're right there. I went into great detail. Get a manicure. That was my self-care thing. You guys, I went beyond that. I got myself some nails. I'm not biting my nails anymore. It's been almost a month. I'm not biting them anymore. Okay, I wanted to research CBD oils. And I wrote on there, I want the highest quality. I want organic, um, something for my anxiety, my gut health, and for inflammation. Boom, I did it. The first week, I did it. Um, and by the way, it's been such a lifesaver. I wanted to join a gym. And I put on there, one where massages are included, one that has machines and classes, one that I can use at multiple locations. I found one, Planet Fitness. 20 bucks a month. I can use it here at work. I can use it at home. I can bring a buddy for free. Massages, water therapy massage, regular massage, infrared, sauna, everything's included. It's wonderful. 24 hours a day. Make up a fitness plan. So I looked up on Pinterest, um, like beginner gym fitness plans. I got a whole bunch of them. So now I just work those into my days. I wanted to try two new recipes one gluten-free one clean eating i did the gluten-free i did the soda the soda bread this coming week i'm going to be doing the clean eating one that's another one down i wanted to pay off my car i did i got the title actually in the mail yesterday it was great um i wanted to look into yoga so i did that and guess what i signed up for it i signed up for a goat yoga class so i even went over and above my just yoga workout. I signed up for goat yoga. Um, and I wanted to go to a salt cave. I found a Groupon for me and Brad, 45 minutes. A uh, couple salt cave for 45 minutes. We're going at the end of the month. It's gonna be great to just to sit there and relax with medita meditative music going on in the background, low lights. Um, that's how we're kicking off our date night. <laughs> it's gonna be super. I put down things that I wanted to get done around the house. Um, and I just kind of pull from these. And if they're, if I don't get them done, I'll just migrate them into next month. And I'm cool with that too. Um, gosh. <clears throat> what 
what can I show you? Okay, I'm going to show you Saturday the 2nd. Um, not much had happened because I was actually really not feeling well. Um, so I, it was a lot of downtime for me. But here is what a scripted day would look like, right? So these are my to-dos. The weather, where I must go, my food diary, my water tracker, my step journal, my sleep journal, and a little bit of journaling throughout the day. Um, and you can do this any way you want. It's Gosh, this has been, this has been life changing for me. So that's what I've been doing. I've been working on myself and making myself a priority, which is something that I thought I was doing, but I really, I never did. Um, I mean, I took time, like downtime I took, but never anything for something I really wanted to do. And I think a lot of the reason is because I really didn't know what it is I wanted to do. I just know I wanted to do something. So I sat down and I thought about it. I talked about it with myself. Yes, like a fool, I talked to myself. But I finally wrote it all down and it all just kind of manifested itself. So now um, I did have a little bit of a hiccup. I had twisted my ankle. Man, this is really bugging me. I had twisted my ankle, so I, uh, like yesterday and today is only the first day in probably two weeks that I haven't had any swelling and like major pain. Um, it's getting better, so I'm hoping this weekend uh, I can at least get like a power hour in. I want to, I started the spring cleaning process when all of this had happened, so I really want to get the spring cleaning done. Um, I have a vacation planned in April. I have uh, long weekends planned in May. And I want to utilize that time for fun and family and friends and not just cleaning the house like I normally use my vacations for. So um, that's what I've been up to. That's what I've been doing. Let me know if you want to see a plan with me on this one, um, on this method, how I do it. If there's any interest in it, leave a comment down below and I can do that. Um, otherwise, everything has been going good. The weight loss is slow, you guys. I'm not following any program. Um, I guess you can call it intuitive eating. I'm 90% gluten-free, um, 10% eating what we have in the house <laughs> so like the 10 percent that's gluten is just stuff that's in the house that we need to use up so um that's what we've been doing marissa got accepted into a university we're gonna have uh the parents open house weekend is coming up in april we'll be going to that um gosh just so much has been going on so I feel like I'm finally, finally getting my life together um, in a way that puts me front and center without neglecting my family, um, my friends, the house, my job, like without compromising anything else that I have to do. So it feels good to have some momentum going. Uh, Okay, so like, okay, back to the weight loss. Um, I think since, well, this month, I want to say I'm down probably like four pounds so far. So my goal has been on average um, five pounds a month. My goal has been five pounds a month. I've been averaging sometimes three pounds, sometimes six pounds, like it averages out. So Slow and steady, you guys. Um, just gluten-free. I'm upping my vegetable intake. I'm focusing on eating, again, whole foods in its natural state. And I'm not sitting around as much as I used to. Um, I'm actually manifesting the goals that I have and my to-do lists are getting done. And I feel really, really good. So I've gone off the anxiety medication in lieu of that, if I feel anxious for anything or I feel a panic attack coming on, I use CBD oils. That's been helping. Um, 
meditation's been helping. I'm just trying to find more holistic ways of going about and doing stuff instead of relying on medication all the time for everything. And that's it. I That's pretty much the past three months in a nutshell. I turned 43. When did that happen? My daughter turned 20. When did that happen? Ay, 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 you guys. You guys, I've been using collagen um, peptides and my hair regrowth is amazing. Um, I'm going to have to do a before and after of when I started it because I had such thin hair on top here and the hair regrowth has been mm, out of this world. So that's what's been going on. I'm really excited about spring coming. We have house things that we have planned, a uh, remodel of the kitchen, and just painting and sprucing things up, and a garden, and flowers, and just looking forward to things. Uh, Brett and I have been talking about getting a camper <clears throat> so that we can take the dogs with us when we go uh, places, and so now we're looking at that so we'll be going to a couple camping shows i'm not sure if we're going to be buying one this year or if we're just looking this year to figure out what it is we really want and go forward for next year or get something at the end of the season for next year travel i'm not really sure but we are we're goal oriented this year you guys and we are we are hitting it. We are both going really strong at it and it feels really good. For the first time in a long time, I feel really good. So, please let me know if there's anything you wanna see, anything you wanna hear about, any questions that you may have. If you want me to do a plan with me, let me know and I can do that. Otherwise, in the future for this channel, I'll be doing um, what I ate today, videos but like in a compilation for the week like what we had for dinner this week I might start doing some grocery hauls um, maybe some day in the life vlogs if we've got something interesting going on and just catch up videos I'm still working on the blog just drop that cupcake.com um, if anybody's interested in going over there and signing up it is still a work in progress but there are posts up there for anybody to read and also been posting on my Facebook page just drop that cupcake over at Facebook and posting on Instagram so if you guys want to see anything want to know about anything have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below and I will get back to you. I hope you all are doing fabulous. I hope your winter was not as brutal as ours and we will talk soon. Bye friends.